In today's video, we test out a cooking hack from 5-Minute Crafts. Well guys, once again, we are faced with a video from 5-Minute Crafts that seems to show a really clever, easy hack to make something really cool. And while Callie is eating Skittles, I'm going to test it out. Here's the basic idea. We've seen a video from 5-Minute Crafts that shows hard caramels, butter, and popcorn all cooked together in one pan to make some delicious caramel corn. We want to test out the shown method and see if it works at all. What the hack shows is butter and some hard toffee or caramel candies being put into a pan, melting down, adding unpopped popcorn kernels into the now liquid caramel, covering it and it all popping up as this beautifully caramel coated popcorn. That seems like it'd be pretty easy and delicious if yeah, it works. So we want to give it a try. It never says in the video that it's these Werther's brand caramels, but it looks almost exactly like them. Yeah. So that's what we're going to be using, and I think that's going to be the best result. You found some chewy soft caramels as well. I did, and this is to try a variant that's not in the original video. And then I also found another video from 5 Minute Crafts that shows a way of using Skittles to make some rainbow flavored popcorn. So we're going to try it's, all of these. Uh, it's magic, guys. And see if any of them work. First up, we're going to take about half a stick of butter and about 30 of these unwrapped candies, and we're going to put them in our frying pan, and we're going to see if it turns into the nice caramel sauce that's seen in their video. All right, unwrapping party, here we go. We've got a good blob of butter. We couldn't identify exactly how much because it was a purely top-down shot and the square chunk of butter just looked like a square. But given how much it seems to fill as everything melts down, I thought we needed at least a good amount of butter. Got uh, about a quarter cup there. Yeah, this is maybe a little more than I would like say is a good amount for <laughs> making some caramel popcorn, but maybe not. I've seen some recipes that use quite a bit and butter's delicious, so I'm not gonna fault them for that. Now we're gonna turn this on fairly low and let it melt good and slow to try and not have the caramel burn. Something, the first flag in this video is mm -hmm. as it's all melting, it seems that the level seems to just rise. That's not the way things work. I mean, it could just be leveling out and particularly tall caramels. I don't know. To me, it doesn't look accurate, but we're going to try. So we're just going to set this on pretty low okay, and let it go for, I don't know, probably at least 10 minutes to get it to all melt. We want to get a nice smooth texture. And in the video, it showed like it just all looked like one consistency, like it was just caramel syrup poured into the pan kind of thing. So we're gonna try this and see how it goes. I'm also just gonna start cooking up some regular unflavored popcorn in our popcorn popper here. And this is really to use in other experiments going forward. All right, looks like everything is melted. Uh, it has not turned into one homogenous caramel sauce or anything that even looks a little bit like that, but Let's stir it up and see if maybe they just didn't show the stirring step. I'm gonna go ahead and say that doesn't look as appetizing as some caramel sauces I've seen, but it smells fantastic. Oh, this smells amazing. We've got caramel, sugar, and butter all cooking together. It smells like candy making central. So I don't think it's gonna mix as well as we'd like it to, but should we just pour the popcorn in anyways? I wanna just keep stirring for like another minute and see if we do get it any more mixed together, but okay. then even though it's Definitely does not look like what we saw in the video yet. Yeah, we'll just try it. We'll throw some popcorn in, see how it does. All right, then they showed, they had like a handful of popcorn kernels and they just poured it in. Uh, they also seemed to have a lot more caramel sauce as a result, so let's not do, I mean, you can fill my hands and I'll just pour in however much I think looks right. And I poured a bunch of kernels in. Just to make it fair, I'm actually gonna stir these popcorn kernels in so they're getting more heat. And then they showed covering everything with a glass bowl. So let's cover everything with a glass bowl. Now we wait. Okay. Do we leave it on low heat or do you turn the heat up? <sighs> I want to leave it on low heat because okay. I know these Werther's can start to burn. And I think if we turn it up at all, we're just going to get burned. The popcorn may pop faster, but I think it'll ruin the caramel. The caramel already might burn and get ruined. Okay. There we go. Oh, look at that. Look how appetizing. A oh, sloggy no. mess. Sloggy. Sloggy mess of burned caramel and popcorn kernels. So I've now flipped it over and coated them all, but the popcorn kernels that did pop were just kind of on top of the caramel. They weren't even coated in caramel. So zero points. 
changing things up a little yep. bit. We're going to try melting down some more candy and some more butter, but this time we're just gonna melt it and we're gonna mix it in after the popcorn is popped. We're not gonna you try know, and put it all in one container. As you do when you wanna make caramel popcorn. <laughs> Uh, it's it's not impossible. I have caramel powder that you cook with the popcorn in this. It's specifically formulated for that, and so it melts at just the right temperature. Because you're constantly stirring it in this machine as it's popping, it does coat it pretty well. It works nicely, and it's simple. You add the oil, the popcorn, and the sugar stuff to this, and you just go until it pops, and then you're done. It's great. This, however, is not formulated for that. So we've got these chewy caramels, and okay. I'm wondering if these are possibly going to work better. Hmm. Now, I don't even wanna try the cooking the popcorn in the method because I think they're just going to burn the same way. So, I've cleaned this pan, we can do the same thing. Let's add some butter, throw some of the chewy caramels in, and see which one makes a better popcorn coating. We'll see if any of the chewy caramels will actually make it into the pan. If, if it's if. good. Pour as much as you think is needed to coat it and then stir it all up and see how it goes. The soft caramel, unsurprisingly, melted quicker than the hard caramel, so I'm still <laughs> just mixing all the butter into the caramel over here. And then I'll pour this on the other bowl of popcorn. Our caramels have cooled enough for us to actually eat, and that is exactly what we're doing. This is the best caramel popcorn I've ever had. That's pretty I good stuff. I love this. The texture, it's chewy, got an amazing flavor. Popcorn is still a little bit crunchy. This is lunch. So this is the stuff we made with the chewy. Yep. And it's just good chewy caramel popcorn. Yep. Really good flavor. I like it a lot. This you is the stuff. Coffee. <laughs> this is the stuff made with the hard candies, and not terribly surprisingly. It's much crunchier. It kind of forms like a candy shell on the popcorn. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. I like both of them a lot. This is what following the video exactly did. This is what slightly modifying the video to not look quite as neat did. It's delicious and easy. So another video by the same company shows they put Skittles and some oil in a pan and then they add the kernels in with it and it pops out with like popcorn with these nice little individually rainbow colored Skittles in it. Not I don't, Skittles. Sorry, individual colored popcorn kernels. Popcorn yeah. kernels. Like, like one Skittle just attached itself to one kernel of popcorn and none of the colors smeared and every kernel got beautifully coated. It's not gonna work. Our popcorn, oil, and Skittles are in one pan with the lid on and we're waiting to see if those are gonna pop up as individually rainbowized kernels of corn. And while that's happening, I've also just got some Skittles and a little bit of oil in this pan. I'm just gonna try and melt them down to see if we can even turn them into something that can coat popcorn. If it does, I'm going to pour it over our already made popcorn like we did with our two different types of caramel. We know that this method didn't work with all the caramel and popcorn cooking together, but it did work when they were separate. So I'm gonna see if the same thing applies to the Skittles. Melt it down separately and then pour it over some popcorn that's already been made. The oil did not seem to mix into the Skittles like at all. The caramel it mixed in after a while. With the Skittles it just all ran off and I'm actually trying to encourage that right now. I'm just scooping it and mixing it around, getting some of the oil to come off and now I'm just gonna take scoops of Skittle. Molten Skittle, this is a nice orange color made from all of the red, orange, and yellow Skittles mixed together. There are not these nice, evenly coated, perfect kernels of popcorn. There's stuff like smeared all over and it's not like entirely uncoated, but it's not like, I mean, even these worked a lot better. Let's let that cool down and let's take a look at our other pan. All right, every individual piece of rainbow popcorn, none of it burnt. Wow. Oh, wait, no, That's not like that at all. So bad, like it does, and you had like that heat turn way low. I did can't believe everything you see on the internet. We do this a lot. Five minute crafts will always put in, as I said, a kernel of truth to what they have. They do show things that work sometimes, or they show things that Nate was saying, you know, with the caramel popcorn, it is possible, just maybe not in such a cool way because it's not real. Check your sources before you think something's real on the internet, and if you want to try it for yourself, just know the results might not be what you hope for. Let's see if this is any good. That's so crunchy. So there is some fruity 
flavor. Um, I mean, this is the red, yellow, and orange skills combined, so I wouldn't expect it to be like one distinct thing necessarily, but honestly, the strongest flavor coming through is definitely burnt sugar. Yeah. Like melting the Skittles, they got burnt. All right, guys, we like debunking different videos, and you guys seem to like to see them, so if there's anything else you want to see, let us know in the comments below. Guys, that's it for today, but if you like seeing this kind of stuff, then subscribe to our channel by hitting that button right there, and we will see you in the next one. Talk to you then.